Testing, testing, one, two. Ichi nesen chi go roku si achi kujiu. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything about the metaverse. Today, we're going to be talking about this guy, the Pico Neo 3 Link. We're going to be talking about this guy. Yes, that's right. It's here. It's in my hands. Woo -hoo. But first, guys, do remember that one of you, upon hitting the 11, thousand subscribers we will be doing an awesome giveaway where you can win a brand new hp reverb g2 this one here sponsored by hp of course so they'll be the ones sending it to you and also another winner will walk away with a brand new pair of cyber shoes with a gaming station and everything that goes with it so that's sponsored by cyber shoes they'll be the ones who send it to you Whew. You're so lucky. And the third owner will walk away with a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you will be able to redeem against any VR game that you want on any store. It doesn't matter if it's the Oculus MetaQuest store, Steam VR, or the Vive port store. Be completely up to you. So guys, do go to the link description below. Go to, it will redirect you to gleam.io's website. Go there after this video because guys, it's completely free to enter and it's completely awesome. And it's completely up to you as to how fast we reach 11,000 subscribers as you'll need to reshare some videos as well. But guys, back to today's video. So we are here to talk about this, the Pico Neo 3 Link. But guys, this is the Pico Neo 3 Pro. It seems to me that the specs are extremely Similar. Now, is it something that, because this is going to be released, and we'll talk about this in just a moment, in specific countries in Europe as a better trial to start off with, it's going to cost, I think, 469 or 449 euros or US dollars or something. We'll go through that in just a minute. The specs are very, very similar at the moment to the Oculus uh, Quest, Meta Quest 2, I believe. Is it worth waiting for it? Is it worth buying the Oculus, the, sorry, the Pico Neo 3 Link? Or is it worth buying the Meta? Well, let's, let's talk about it, guys. Let's talk about it. So let's transfer first to the Upload VR announcement, or let's say the article. This week, Pico announced the Neo 3 Link. It's launching to European consumers. It's essentially the first real Quest 2 competitor. Now, guys, is it the first Quest 2 competitor? Kind of, kind of. I, I, I guess in terms of the, the price range being standalone, maybe it is, but it is not the direct first. Let's say there are other first, but it's just that they're not doing as well and they're a little bit more expensive, of course. Um, and they are more geared towards the enterprise market, even though consumers can still get them. But this would be the first, let's say, standalone VR headset that is going to be priced very similarly to what the Oculus MetaQuest 2 is priced at for the 128 gigabyte, uh, sorry, the 256 gigabyte uh, memory one, I believe. So let's just transition back very quickly and read on the specs. The Quest 2 and the Neo 3 Link have the same chip, the same amount of RAM, the same resolution, the same type of display, and the same lens separation control mechanism. Both have full tracking cameras mounted in identical positions. Here's how they both compare to HTC Vice Focus 3 on a specs sheet. Now guys, as I mentioned before, that basically this is, to me, the same as the Pico Neo 3 Pro. It seems to me a rebranding only. So. Let, let, let's, let's look at things again. Let, let's go through the specs very quickly. So the Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920 LCD. Neo 3 Link is 1832 by 1920 LCD. The Neo 3 Pro is... Bam, 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 bam. Where are you? Where is it? 1832 by 1932, uh, 1920, sorry, per eye also. So let me just go uh, further down. Excuse me about that. So 1832 by 1920, Threadsnall lenses, and it is also, if I'm not wrong, an LCD technology as well. So there's no changes there so far. All right, refresh rate, 60 hertz, 72 hertz, 80 hertz, 90 hertz, or 120 hertz for the Meta 2. For Neo 3 Link, it is 90 hertz. For Neo 3 Pro, it is also 90 hertz, guys, just so you know. Uh, even though I'll try to find it, it is 90 hertz. Don't worry, I know that it is. Uh, even if I can't find it here, maybe, oh, there it is, 90 hertz. 
Uh, okay, lens separation, three stage, 58, 63, 68, two stage, 58, 63, 69. Um, I think it's more or less the same for the Neo3 Pro. There's no differences there, uh, even though it's not written there, I think, but it is more or less the same. Uh, chip, Snapdragon XR2, Snapdragon XR2. And for the Neo3 Pro, it is also a Snapdragon XR2. It's here, guys. Um, and then finally, cameras 444. Four, four. Yes, cameras is four. We know that. Hand tracking, no. Uh, yes. Now, there is going to be hand tracking. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it or not, but the, the Ultra Leaf system is going to work with the Pico at some point very, very soon. So it's not built in hand tracking, it will be external hand tracking. That means you're gonna have to pay an extra 100, 200, or 300 dollars, or whatever it might be, for the Ultra Leap system, which is on the, I have it somewhere, but I'll show you next time. Do go and check the videos that I did about the Ultra Leap system. It's absolutely fantastic because it's compatible with any VR headset whatsoever. Not only the Pico, not only the HP Reverb G2. It's compatible with pretty much all the VR headsets out there, including also uh, the Pimax. So, you know, there you go. All right, let's continue. Uh, hand tracking, so we just spoke about this. Price, 349 for the 128 gigabyte and 449 for the 256 gigabyte. It's gonna be 449 for the 256 gigabyte. Honestly speaking, yes, if you're new to VR, it makes more sense to spend something where you get less memory, of course, but then the games are getting heavier, they're getting better, they're getting, you know, you need more space. So honestly, I think perhaps it's strategic, I'm not quite sure, but 256 for 449 euros is perfectly acceptable. Uh, versus, of course, the uh, Vive Focus 3, which is worth a staggering extra almost 1,000 euros more for 1 to 8 gigabyte price micro SD. Now, for the uh, Pico Neo 3 Pro, if I'm not wrong, no, you can't put a micro USB in it, not at the moment. But, guys, at the moment, it is the same. So the Pico Neo 3 Pro that we have been talking about on the channel all this time is the Pico Neo 3 Link. It is the same, I'm telling you. Now, let's talk about, uh, let me just transition over very quickly. As I said, it is the same as the Pico Neo 3 Link. Sorry, I forgot to transition. Now, would you spend less money on the 128 gigabyte, or let's just say the same amount of money on, on, a, on a MetaQuest, or would you decide to spend on, on, on you know, on, on, on the Pico Neo 3 Link. Well, this is all I'm going to tell you. I would never buy a Meta product. It's that simple. I don't care how much it costs. I just would not buy it. I don't care how great it is. I just would not buy it. Why? Because I am very sensitive to privacy and I know that Meta's business strategy, first of all, is to take my data, to use my data for not the greater good of humanity. It's that simple. It's there to manipulate the consumer, so the consumer gets to buy certain things that they didn't even need in the first place, and also to sway my, uh, who am I gonna vote for in the next elections, where, regardless where that might be, uh, whether I'm for or against uh, COVID vaccines, whether I'm for or against uh, the war in Ukraine, I'm against, by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's there to take my data, to sway my, 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 my judgment on life itself, on important things that are happening in the world. We know this because it's been proven time and time again. Therefore, I'm against it. The other reason why I'm against it is because if we transition over, um, there was an article very recently about how Apple, Apple thought that it was hypocritical from Meta because they're developing a horizon for the web version, by the way, and they were only going to charge about 25% according to Boz. If I go to uh, Twitter, oh, I can't go from this Twitter here, uh, VR Essentials Twitter. Uh, here we go. So we're VR Essentials 1, if you want to find us on Twitter. Tweets and replies, uh, here we go. I think it's here, there we go. Both said that they're only going to charge 25% for developers and creators on the platform who wish to, uh, who wish to, to basically sell things on the Horizon platform. 25% on the web version and up to 50% on the meta 
version. And guys, they already charge 30% for anyone who sells their apps on the MetaQuest store. So guys, at the end of the day, Meta are all about take, 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 take. They're not about give, 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 give. I'm very sorry, they're not. They're taking everything from us. They're not giving anything to you. The people who are giving to you guys are the developers, are the creators, not Meta. Because the developers and the creators can use other platforms to give back to you. Meta, what do they give to you? Nothing, 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 nothing. They just take, take, take from you. So I would never buy a Meta product. It's that simple. However, if you don't care about all this kind of stuff, you don't give a damn, you don't care, you just want to be in VR, you don't care about your data being taken over, you don't care that Meta is using your data and other people's data to sway the events of the world, you don't care about these kind of things, right? Well, the form factor of the Pico Neo 3 Link is going to be very hard. They need to change this. They need to change this. Pico, if you're watching today's video, you need to change this foam because it doesn't fit everybody's face, first of all. Uh, the other thing is they're going to need to very much advance the software inside of the actual Pico itself. Why? Well, it's very simple because the software is not as highly developed as Meta software. As Meta have spent billions and not billions, millions and millions of dollars developing their product over the last 10, 15 years. God knows how long they've been working on it. ByteDance has not. Pico has only been working over the last few years. So they have a lot of catch up to do. The other problem is it's not as, let's say, um, multiplayer friendly. It's very much dependent on the app developers. If the app developers develop an app that is multiplayer, then of course you can play multiplayer. But you don't have all the party things, you don't have all the stuff outside of the games that enables you to have that multiplayer sensation where I could literally press a button, make a call, call my parents, call my family, call my friends, call my, call my friends who are already in VR. Hey guys, how you doing? Meet up in a special place together where we can mingle, we can party together, we can talk together, and then boom, go into an app. We, they don't have all these capabilities in the VR headset at the moment, which Meta has. So Meta have very much the, the, they're, they're first. They're, they're at the peak, they're at the forefront of VR at the moment, and Pico are behind. But it doesn't mean that at the end of the day, give Pico a few years, maybe five, six years, and they'll be ahead of Meta. And who knows, maybe people will believe more in the, in, 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 in the belief system of ByteDance, because ByteDance don't have that bad reputation well, as bad as Meta, I'm sorry, but they don't. A lot of people in America don't mind ByteDance whatsoever. A lot of people in, in Europe don't mind ByteDance whatsoever. And remember that you're, the server used in Europe is not the same server used in China. Therefore, the data from China cannot be prerequisited in Europe or America. And there'll be laws in America and Europe which prevents China to be able to have to grab hold of that data. So your data is actually much safer uh, with ByteDance than it is with Meta at the moment. Meta who are being told Facebook and Instagram might have to stop operating in Europe because of all these issues. Meta has been taken to court by 40 uh, state senators in the US, every single state senator, uh, sorry, state, um, every single state in the US is taken Meta to court for all these issues. ByteDance is not at the moment. So ByteDance are very safe at this moment in time. They have a good reputation when it comes to data. However, as I said, form factor is going to be an issue. However, in terms of weight, I don't have the Quest 2, so I cannot compare it, but I can compare it to the Quest 1, which I used to have before I sold it. This is much better. Why? Because the battery at the back. The quality of the actual headset is very good. This was not going to snap, it's not going to break. Then you have other weight here. It's just fantastic, guys. That's all I can say. All right, guys, time to say hi to some of you. And in the comments below, do remember before I do this, however, that you can potentially win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP. Also, a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes with a gaming station sponsored by Cyber Shoes. And also a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you will be able to redeem against any of your favorite VR titles on the MetaQuest store, Steam VR, or the Vive store. It completely doesn't matter because I'm going to give you 50 cash so you can then choose what you want to do with it up to you all right guys let's transition over go to the YouTube channel of VR essentials there is 
And guys, before, before we do this, I just wanted to say a quick hello, of course, to all our regular viewers. I haven't been online for, as you know, about a month. That's because I've got a brand new job. I'm a community manager for a Hong Kong listed mobile gaming company, not a VR gaming company at this moment in time, but who knows, maybe we'll go mobile, uh, we'll go meta at some point in time. And, you know, uh, I'm managing five games. It's completely crazy. Let's transition back uh, again. Uh, and thank you guys for all your love. It's completely amazing. Let's go to the YouTube studio. Let's welcome some of the new subscribers. First of all, uh, let's go to recent subscribers, which is here. Let's go to C or there we go. All right, I'd like to welcome, let me make sure that I did transition over. Yes, I did. Uh, Kill Assist, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Oh, let me go to date subscribe. There we go. Eric Broxton, uh, Ferris Smile, David Griffiths, Dean Sanders, Gunnar Kelly, Sihan Er, and JKBZZ. Jay, guys, thank you so much for joining the channel. You guys are really, really, really Really amazing, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's welcome some more people as well because it's been a little while since I've been on the channel. Uh, so let me go to, oh, there's also NA and also, oh, NA, that's quite a funny name, all right. Um, Miloslav Schutz and also Wilco Seben. Uh, welcome to you guys as well. Let's go to the next page. I'd like to also welcome Billy Bobarino, Stefan Gomez, Simon Ziade, James Sandlin, Vito Costa, CP Dog Cube 7, Wom Doug, G Van MP, Scotty Russell, Morox Mao. Let's welcome some more because it's been a while. Swan W Hughes, NZ News, Kerry Doyle, Sandrak Trucks, One Plus Skin, Patricia Spazata, Leon Wright, Lo uh, Lion Wright, sorry, Robert Allen, Omega 2844, and Sega Master System Reset Paw. So, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. You guys are super awesome. I can't thank you enough. Just thank you. What can I say? It takes a lot to press the subscribe button. All right, let's go to the comments this time and read some comments from some of you guys. Uh, let's go to the latest comments. A few more. There we go. Hey, this was the video about Spider-Man. Hey, can you explain the steps for Oculus Two, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't have the Oculus Meta Quest 2, so I can't, but maybe someone else can. Um, DTZ1000 says, came here after the Pico Neo 3 link launch. Very helpful video. Thank you very much, uh, DTZ1000. By the way, as I mentioned, the Neo 3 link is the same as the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Um, tip escapes. Uh, Trina win at 11K, dying for a cyber shoes set all the... Headset, yes, you're very welcome. And as I said, guys, go to the link in the description below. Make sure you reshare as many videos as you can. You have to reshare at least three videos so we can get to 11,000 as soon as possible, guys. Uh, Mark Miss says, did the software show the exact IPD it was at when you changed it? Uh, yeah, it, it shows the IPD when you change the IPD. This was about the G2 V2 extra FOV video. And final comment by Aishogun, dude, don't stroke the controller like that. It's very Among Us imposter. Sus, I uh, don't know what you mean. Very sorry, really, really don't know what you mean. Uh, but okay, no problem if you say so. Guys, thank you very much for hanging out with us today. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Remember, competition, link in the description below. So see you in the comments below, guys. Bye, until next time. Bye, take it easy.